2024 has indeed become remarkably heated, primarily because of numerous conflicts that have persisted since 2023. One of the significant ongoing conflicts is in the Middle East, spurred by Israel's attempts to occupy Palestinian territories. Initially, many believed that this conflict would come to an end following the United Nations resolution on a ceasefire and the subsequent international legal proceedings against Israel for allegations of genocide. Unfortunately, these measures have not had the intended impact. Even the United States has openly stated that the International Court of Justice lacks the authority to deter Israel. The U.S. continues to support Israel, as evidenced by its actions, including vetoing ceasefire efforts during a United Nations Security Council meeting. Given the stance of the United States and Israel, it appears that the resolution of the Middle East conflict is still far from reach. As a result, various militias supporting Palestine and condemning Israel persist in their resistance against both the United States and Israel. Among these groups is the Houthi militia in Yemen, which has consistently opposed these two nations and has successfully seized and destroyed a range of American and Israeli weaponry. An example of this resistance is the destruction of an advanced American MQ-1 drone by the Houthi militia in November 2023, according to circulating video claims. The Houthi forces shot down the drone using an Iranian-made Izdilie 358 anti-aircraft missile. Following the loss report, the United States initially denied that the drone shot down by the Houthis belonged to them, claiming it had disappeared over international waters. However, updated data later confirmed that their MQ-1 had indeed been shot down by the Houthis in Yemeni airspace. It seems the United States is rather embarrassed to admit that their drone was shot down by Houthi militias. The MQ-1 Predator, a symbol of American pride in aerial technology, has been in production since 1995 until its cessation in 2018. This drone has been deployed as a tool of warfare across various regions, including Afghanistan, Pakistan, Iraq, Libya, and Syria. Initially designed for air reconnaissance and observation missions, and equipped with advanced cameras and sensors, the MQ-1 Predator gradually received modifications for strike missions. As a result, it's capable of carrying an array of missiles, including two AGM-114 Hellfire air-to-surface missiles, four air-to-air -air Stinger missiles, and six AGM-176 Griffin air-to-surface missiles. In terms of flight specifications, the MQ-1 Predator can reach a maximum speed of up to 217 kilometers per hour, with a range of 1,250 kilometers and the ability to remain airborne for up to 24 hours. With these capabilities, the MQ-1 Predator stands out as a superior drone, yet it was unfortunately overpowered by an Iranian missile utilized by the Houthi militia. Moving on to the MQ-9 Reaper, another sophisticated American drone, it too fell into the hands of the Houthi in February 2024, as evidenced by a photograph of the wreckage circulated by the group. The United States government has also acknowledged that this drone was brought down by a ground-to-air missile fired by the Houthis in Yemen. The attack in February highlights the ongoing tension between the United States and the Houthis, especially since the Houthis have exhibited hostile attitudes towards Israel. When discussing the losses, it's clear that the United States took a significant hit with the downing of its MQ-9 Reaper drone, primarily due to its hefty price tag. Known to cost around 32 million US dollars, this price point is undeniably steep but justifiably so given the MQ-9 Reaper's impressive specifications. According to available data, this drone boasts remarkable flying capabilities. The MQ-9 Reaper can soar at speeds up to 300 miles per hour, has a range of over 1,180 miles, and can remain airborne for up to 27 
seven hours. Its armament capacity is equally notable, equipped with seven hard points on its body, capable of carrying up to 1,500 pounds of ammunition. It supports a diverse array of weaponry ranging from air-to-air -air missiles like the Stinger and AIM-9 Sidewinder, to air-to-ground missiles such as the AGM-114 Hellfire and Brimstone missiles. In addition to airborne drones, in February, the Houthi forces surprisingly succeeded in capturing and securing an underwater drone belonging to the United States. This drone was identified as the Remus 600, one of the most advanced underwater drones that the United States has been developing since 2012. In terms of specifications, the Remus 600 measures 10 feet 7 inches in length, has a diameter of 12 inches, and weighs approximately 529 pounds. These dimensions are identical to those of the Torpedo MK-18 Mod 2 Kingfish, which served as the main design reference for the Remus 600. Regarding its operational capabilities, the Remus 600 can dive to depths of up to 1,968 feet, with a maximum speed of 5 knots, about 5.75 miles per hour, and a range of 177 miles with an operational endurance of up to 70 hours. This diving capability positions the Remus 600 as one of the best underwater drones in the United States arsenal. The creation of the Remus 600 drone is rooted in addressing a wide array of needs, starting from conducting oceanic surveys, underwater mapping, sample collection, and reconnaissance, to the neutralization of sea mines. For non-military purposes, the Remus 600 can also be employed for early detection of undersea pipe damage, network cables, and even for mapping drilling platforms offshore. Hence, in terms of functionality, the Remus 600 proves to be highly dependable. It is believed that the Remus 600 drone acquired by the Houthi will be sent to Iran so that Tehran can conduct in-depth research. In cases that are commonly experienced with American weapons ending up in Iranian hands, they are almost immediately replicated. Since the escalation in the Red Sea due to the Houthis' action of blockading all ships affiliated with Israel, it's evident that America's response was to form a coalition named the Guardian of Prosperity. This coalition aims to halt Houthi activities in the Red Sea, but has it been effective? Not, as the Houthis have become even more aggressive. In 2024 alone, the Houthi boldly attacked the American warship USS Gravely. There were at least two series of attacks directed at the warship, the first involving missiles and the second a drone strike. Despite these attacks, there were no significant damages as all were successfully repelled by the crew of the USS Gravely. However, these assaults also signaled that despite the destruction of many Houthi weapon assets by the United States and its coalition, as also evidenced by actions taken by British warships, the Houthi still possess a substantial stockpile of weapons to combat the United States and its allies. Thus, it can be said that the Houthi consistently provided resistance in the Red Sea up until the attacks in the Gaza Strip were halted by Israel. Only time will tell whether the Houthi will be eradicated in the Red Sea first, or if Israel will cease its operations in the Gaza Strip first.